Well, welcome back to Desert Smoke Reviews. I'm Wyatt. Justin. And Monty. Today we're taking a look at the San Cristobal. Uh, what's this one called, Monty? I believe it's just the Perfecto. Perfecto? Yeah. Standard San Cristobal. Standard San Cristobal, yeah. In a Perfecto then. But uh, this is a beautiful looking stick. Uh, this is, a, of course, a Perfecto, and I really, really like smoking Perfectos. Uh, yeah, yeah, really, really dark. Uh, kind of a mottled look to the wrapper, at least. Um, some areas lighter than others. Uh, let's see, on the aroma, there's a real, to me, it's it's almost sort of like a, like a pine type of smell, almost like a forest type of smell. And, you know, I've always said, run, forest, run. And I think that, that this cigar is really going to uh, kick into that, that, uh, that category. And not too much off the foot because the closed foot, but Beautiful looking stick, can't wait to light this up. Yeah, it's a gorgeous cigar, very dark brown, um, minimal vein, seams are done well. Um, to me, I just get a very nice barnyard and rich tobacco. <coughs> it is a wonderful smell. The foot's a little different, because it's that little tight perfecto, I don't get much off of it. It's mostly the same as what I get off of the wrapper. Very, very nice. Same here. I love the shape of this cigar. I love cigars in this Perfecto shape. Uh, just a deep, dark brown color. Same, minimal veins. Very well constructed. Um, again, not much on the foot because it's basically it's almost a closed foot. But uh, just a really dark, rich tobacco aroma off the wrapper. After cutting it off the head of the cigar, I get a little bit of maybe barnyard or hay, but just more of that richness. That just just profound. Uh, it's a beautiful cigar. Can't wait. Well, let's get into the uh, light up. Let's light it up, cut it up, and see how it goes. Got a little head of myself there. It happens. It happens. It's like I've always said stupid is as stupid does. Oh yeah, especially in the retro ale. Um, kind of like a crackling almost sensation of pepper on my tongue, but um, crackling, yeah, yeah, popping. Um, yeah, I don't get that, but I definitely pick up the pepper. Definitely on the retro ale. Yeah, definitely pepper, pepper on the finish. Definitely a medium to a longer finish. Pepper just sits with me right on the tip of my tongue and I can still taste it. A real rich, earthy tobacco finish for me. That, that pepper. Really, really nice start. Well, let's get into the first third as we get into the body of the scar and see how it goes. Um, well, we're about 10 minutes into the San Cristobal with Perfecto. Uh, it's still really, really good. A lot of rich tobacco flavors, and the, that, that pine is still there. It's kind of it's kind of mixed in with, with the pepper. For me. You know, it's a very unique and interesting flavor, and I'm really, really enjoying it. We've had a couple of the Robusto versions of this before, and this is one of those cigars that tastes completely different in different sizes, so I'd really like to go back and, and try that Robusto now. Uh, you know, it's like I've always said, cigars are the cornerstone of any nutritious breakfast. And I think this would be a great morning stick, uh, afternoon stick, definitely an evening stick, but just an all-around great stick. Yeah, it's a, it's a great cigar. Uh, performing rel relatively well. Uh, had one burn issue, but I touched it up and it's performing fine now. I, I don't get any woodsiness, but I do get a, a lot of pepper still, a lot of rich tobacco, and a kind of nice dry, earthy core. Really enjoying it. About a medium in body, medium in strength. This is just one of those cigars. If you offered it to me, I'd be there in three shakes of the lamb's tail. Yeah, my mine's burning pretty well. Um, it got off a little bit, but it, it's already started correcting itself. So I don't feel like it's worth touching it up with a lighter. Um, really good cigar. Good construction. Uh, again, I think it's a medium flavored, medium body cigar for me. Also, um, just. 
the, the finish is, is what I would call a medium fish finish. The pepper's gone away for me. I get almost no pepper whatsoever, you know, just 10 minutes into this thing. Uh, but definitely an outstanding, dark, deep, earthy flavors and, and really, really strong tobacco flavors. You know, I mean, this is a tasty cigar. All right, well, let's get into the second, third, or first midpoint. See how it goes. Well, we're about halfway through the San Cristobal. Uh, you know, what I'm noticing a lot in this cigar is the aromatics. I think it smells absolutely wonderful. And even Shumpert here seems to agree. You know, you can see how relaxed she is. You're so wise, like a miniature Buddha covered in hair. And I, I think that's what's a really big draw for me in this cigar. There's, there's just so much going on. There's the flavor, there's the aroma, there's the taste. Excellent construction. I made one or two small little touch-ups, but uh, you know, as you can see, I'm already past the halfway point here. I, I just love this cigar. Really, really good tasting. Absolutely no problems with it so far. I hope it keeps up. Yeah, very nice. Sweet Lincoln's Mullet. This is a great cigar. I mean, medium in body, medium in strength. Burn issues are a few here and there, but nothing, nothing worth concerning yourself about. Uh, it, and I agree totally with Wyatt. This cigar has really opened up for me. It, it's very aromatic. I'm starting to pick up that more of the woodsy flavor Wyatt mentioned. Still a bit of pepper, but it's died down immensely. Still get a lot of earth. Uh, there's a slight sweetness that's building. It's just got a lot going on. I really appreciate this cigar, and it's just very, very nice. I agree. I'm really happy with it. Uh, nice long finish with that earthy, dark chocolate flavors on my palate. Um, you know, the, the whole cigar together, it's a nice dark wrapper, well constructed. Uh, my burn, I said it got off a little earlier. I touched it up just a bit about 10 minutes ago, and now it's very straight and true. A um, whole lot to like about this cigar. It's just, it's, it's truly a great cigar, compelling and rich. Well, uh, let's get into the final third, approach the nut point, and uh, see how it goes. Well, I'm especially well into the last third of this uh, San Cristobal revelation, or no, just regular San Cristobal uh, in Perfecto. This was a really, really good cigar. I really enjoyed it. Throughout the whole thing, you know, a lot of real rich, deep tobacco flavors. Uh, got a lot more of that dark chocolate that Lonnie mentioned in this, in this last half, and that was really, really good. Tastes fantastic with a cup of coffee. Uh, it was never particularly heavy for me, and so I really do think you could smoke this really at any time of the day. Not something I'd want to take out on the golf course. Not a, ta <coughs> a task cigar, definitely a, a cigar that warrants your attention uh, and something you should be focused on as you smoke it. Uh, pretty great construction all the way through. Really, I don't have any complaints with this cigar. Um, on a scale of one to 10, I'd give this one a nine. It's something that I really, really enjoyed. And like I said earlier, you know, the Robusto in this version tastes entirely different. So uh, I'd like to go back and kind of compare and contrast the two cigars. Uh, but yeah, I'd have to say with a nine, uh, a, a nine is the best rating that I could give this cigar. And my, my ultimate justification, you know, your diary, jackpot. Yeah, it's, it's a great cigar. Um, I agree. Um, no very medium in body, medium in strength, not super heavy, but those flavors are there, there's lots of them. I, I also started to pick up more of that dark chocolate, a sweet note came in. Uh, it's very earthy, a little bit of wood, it just got a lot going on with it. Um, I had a few burn issues at the first half, but after that's corrected itself, and just overall, very, very nice. Um, if I was going to rate it, I'd also give it a 9, I, I could agree with that. I love this cigar more than I love taffy. I'm a man who loves his taffy. Agreed on all counts. Exceptionally good cigar, good construction, good burn, good flavors. Um, I don't know if I would do this as a morning cigar. I think for some people it might be a bit much, but it, and it's definitely, as, as Wyatt said, it's not a golf course cigar. It's something you want to sit here and enjoy and, 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 and really focus on. Um, I will say this, uh, Wyatt, the ruptured capillaries in your nose belie the clarity of your wisdom. This is definitely a nine. Well, if you like our videos, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. We'd greatly appreciate it. Until next time, smoke them if you got them.